Well, let's talk a little bit about the ice, Russ, and the players often will talk about how it fudges up. Right, and the fudge itself is down the middle a little bit, and it's, gonna, it's going to happen now in the last 8th, ninth, 10th end. And don't forget, they played almost 13 ends, Vic, because you've had two practices, four draws to the button, all the brushing, and that wear pattern is basically right there. It's down that four-foot strip. Keep in mind, when you're coming out of the hack, that's the widest out turn you're ever going to throw if you're a righty. That's the widest, widest in turn you're ever going to throw. So if you just look at a hack to the first hog line, that's that wear pattern. So as the rocks come back in the other direction, the middle rock, rock number one, that's the intended path. It stays in the good stuff, curls, slows down a little bit. If you happen to throw it a little lighter, it curls sooner, gets into the fudge, that slows it down, makes it curl more, and it ends up six, seven feet short. So then you decide to throw it a hair harder down that same line. It stays straighter because you've thrown it harder, doesn't catch the slower path and now you're back eight foot, back 12 foot, and sometimes makes these athletes look a okay, little bit worse than they possibly no, are. I don't hate nothing, it as as Greg Owasco, Mark Sherrick, Darren Gress, nothing they can do. It's till they invent stainless steel pebble. Okay. <laughs> There's always gonna be a wear pattern, and uh, it's just the curlers just figured out, and the ones that can read the ice do better at the end of the game. Well, and that's what we talked about, Cheryl, when we began the week on, uh, on Friday. Because of the lack of practice, because of no playdowns, uh, it will be the team that does catch on fastest, quickest. It absolutely will. The team that doesn't get frustrated with the level of play at times and the team that picks up on the ice the quickest. And Laura said it perfectly on Kate. They're still learning. And that's, that's the attitude you have to have until you get to that championship pool. Good throw, Taylor. That's good. And we've used the analogy before. It's not unlike a, a golfer who reads the greens and reads the, what knows what the grass is and how they grow. And if you're going against the grain. And but, uh, Scott Higgins, our 104 producer, had a, a, a good analogy. Is if you're at Wimbledon, Vic, like mm -hmm. you show up, the grass is beautifully green. Later, where, you yeah. th where your service line is, where all the wear and tear is, the grass is gone by the end of the week. In curling, it's the exact same thing. You just can't see it. 